What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we are at Outbreak. We're going to be doing 10 hours of Outbreak. So that is the goal. Um, I'll talk about the setup and everything first, but uh, there was a recent update where the prize uh, used to be a medium cash bag. Now it's a large cash bag. So nothing else has changed. All the loots from the little dudes are exactly the same, but if you do manage to complete it, you will get a large cash bag, which is up to 500 mil. So it's technically five times better than the last reward, if you look at it that way. Um, so yeah, we'll get into that. I'll kind of just show off some of the highlights every time we complete a round. Keep in mind, we do get the Easter eggs, but I will not include those in the valuation just because those are temporary for the Easter event. Um, you wouldn't expect to get those normally, and so just to make things fair, I will not include those. So I will only include the actual drops that you get. Most of it is stackable, so shouldn't have any issues tracking it all. But uh, yeah, this will be loot from 10 hours. I will be back when I got some more information to show you. So when I first made the update video talking about this uh, minigame, I mentioned I was going to make a full guide on that. I decided not to just because it is a very simple minigame. So what I'll do in this video is I'll give you some tips and tricks and explain how things work. Uh, so if you're not interested in that, you can just skip ahead and try to get more into the loop if you want. But if you do want to know more about the minigame, stay tuned. Uh, so I would recommend Magic Gear with Blood Barrage, anything that hits multi. We are... Uh, working on Chin Chompas, it is a plan in the background, but um, considering you can heal yourself, I think Blood Barrage would probably always be better. You can see I'm not, you know, I'm not having to eat food too much. I would recommend Chug Jug items and uh, Slip Juice. Those two are pretty nice. Uh, I would recommend at least having a couple uh, just in case. Uh, you'll see why in a second. <laughs> um, so the first few, the first five waves are all really simple. You just have, you might want to eat sometimes if you're in dire straits. Uh, you just have zombies. Uh, so the first lot, they're all different levels. I think some of them look the same, but they are technically different. They do have weaknesses. It starts with stab. Uh, the first monsters are weak to stab. The second ones are weak to slash. The third are weak to crush. And the fourth are weak to um, magic. But, you know, obviously we're using magic, so that, that works out great for us. Uh, so kill this last dude and then I'll show you also if you haven't noticed you cannot use prayer so you don't need prayer uh, Elijah and spirit shield you don't need luck so just bring the spirit shield it's a great item here because of the damage reduction um, you can get the salve damage boost on everything in here so that's worth bringing in as well I like to bring a scythe because I have one if you don't have one it's you know obviously not necessary but there are rat kings the first one will spawn in this next wave round six it's pretty simple. It's just a stronger monster. That it's kind of like a mini Jad, if you will. So we'll uh, we'll, we'll we'll get to that when we see it. I right, should be spawning here any second. So there we have it right here. What I like to do is uh, just kill the, the the dudes. Everything combined can really affect you. And once you have more Rat King spawning, it's going to become more important to kill that first. You can use the uh, the um, Sight the Vitter. It does have the double hits against it, and it is damage boosted, so that will work. Um, and then this right here heals you. That's why I bring it. If you don't have, like, any of those, uh, if you do have a Rapier, I think a Rapier probably would work good just because it's fast. Um, but it's usually not worth bringing a bunch of switches. I have Slisky Shadow, which can boost my stats, so even if I use Melee, I'm going to be good. Um, really, if it's just the one on round six, I just chill and just kill the dudes. I mean, he usually can't do too much to you. So then here we have two coming up. It's really just the same thing. You, you want to try to find an area where not multiple are on you at once. Uh, don't stand next to it because then it'll melee you and you probably have worse melee defense than you do other ones. In a situation like right here, we could probably just focus on the actual monster. Um, I think the other dude might be attacking us. The only thing you really have to worry about with them and when there's multiple on you, is that their hits are delayed. So, like, when you see... It's kind of like Jad. When you see the animation, the hit isn't coming for another second or so. So sometimes they can, like, stack them on you if you're not paying attention and if you got multiple of these dudes on you. The thing to note is whenever you have more Rat Kings, you obviously have less zombies. So you're going to run into parts where it's just not practical to barrage them anymore, and that's when you're going to want to switch to melee. If you have it, if you're bringing it. I don't really bring any extra gear. I figure with the boosts, and I mean, I have some stuff like the crown, the um, the out amulet is hybrid. I have the ring. You know, I, I think it's fine. If you wanted to bring, you know, the extra switches so you don't look stupid like me right here, go for it. 
You can bring special restore potions in here, so if you wanted to bring some of those. Uh, keep in mind, this scythe, when I'm making this video, is, is has yet to be nerfed. But it will be nerfed slightly, just because it is kind of really overpowered. Not even so much in this mini game. it's just in, like, in every facet. In Ash's, Ash's Dungeon, it is broken. Um, so I'm going to do a little bit of balancing changes to that. So that might affect things, but I still think it would be worth bringing because it's essentially infinite, you know, restore as long as you have special attack and that'll gain over time. Ooh -wee. Oh, we died. Rip. Let's just pretend this didn't happen. By the way, for the entire 10 hours, I will be including deaths. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, restart or anything like that. That's a death. All of this things. That's just, you know, this stays in the inventory. And we'll keep going. Okay, so I just finished my third hour. This was before the old system. I have made some changes. Uh, you've probably, you'll, you'll have seen that video before this video. Uh, the first three hours were on the old, original release, and then these last seven will be on the newer. Uh, so basically what was changed is that they're all easier. Um, and in the first three hours, I've only completed it one time. Mostly because I'm AFKing, like I just died. It's usually my fault. It's not like it's too difficult that I can't complete it. It's just... If you're not paying enough attention, you can get comboed out, and that's unfortunately happened to me. But uh, So these are a little weaker. The the Rat Kings are a little weaker. These have lower drop rates, um, just because I felt like you're getting items too much from these. So there was almost incentive to just AFK waves 5, die, and then come right back in to farm these. So I want to make it more, less about these, more about the entirety. And um, the Rat Kings also have higher rates as well. So now those are even there's even more incentive to get to those waves and actually kill them. Uh, when you do complete it, you get two medium cash bags now instead of the one, and then you also have a 1 in 50 chance of getting a large. So the next seven hours will all be on the new system. Alright, so I just died. I keep dying. I'm really bad at, at finishing the waves just because I'm AFKing a lot. So keep in mind that this 10 hours is 10 hours of a lot of AFKing. So, yeah. <laughs> but this is the 5 hour point. We just hit the 5 hour point. This is what the loot looks like. So theoretically should be doubled by the end of this, even though that won't be true because there have been some changes. Uh, anyways, we have five hours left. Uh, I think I've showed you everything. If you're poisoned, use the Washman over there. That does work. Some people don't know that. It, it, the poison is a special poison that can only be cured by said Washman. So, yeah, just wash your hands, click it, and that works. Um, other than that, yeah, Blood Barrage, it just kill everything. All right, so I'm about seven and a half hours in, and I actually just thought of something right now. I was giving everybody stuff. I've probably given myself stuff on accident, so the mystery box count might be a little weird. Um, most of this video was done when the event was still out, so I, I would give eggs instead. So probably not too many, but you could probably take away three right there. All right, guys, so we're at the 10-hour mark, and I will now show you the loop. Boom, yeah, so we got uh, 290 crystal keys, almost 6,500 fish tooth arrows, 7,500 platinum, or 75,000 platinum tokens, we'll exchange that in coins, so um, that's how much money we got in pure cash, 89 mystery boxes, as I mentioned before, sometimes I would give everybody mystery boxes, and that's probably included in here, because I don't pay a whole lot of attention, um, but realistically, if you did do 10 hours of this mini game, you would probably get some mystery boxes from me, so it's almost kind of accurate, but... Um, either way, um, we got 156 paper scraps, which we will combine, and we got an augmented schematic. Nice, that's a, a nice little chunk of money. And then just some raw monkfish, which I don't think anybody really cares about. Maybe newer Ironman. But yeah, uh, yeah, so it's a pretty nice minigame. Um, would I say it's worth it? Yeah, it's really AFK. I've been, you know, it was, that's why I wanted to do it, because I knew it would be a really good video, and it would be really easy to do, because I could just AFK it while I did other stuff, so... Yeah, I would definitely recommend it. Um, as far as, like, the money goes, uh, you know, there's probably better things to do for pure cash. Um, but you do get a lot of mystery boxes, like I said. You do get the um, the best arrows in the game. Um, so it's nice to have a good chunk of those. You get some extra cash with the paper scraps, um, you know, crystal keys. You know, it's it's pretty it's pretty fun. It's a nice minigame, very AFK, uh, very low stakes. No, you don't really have to worry about too much. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.